This is Daryl Peterson with MicroMeasurements. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager, and I thought I'd take just a minute and show you one of our strain gauges that's being used a little bit different than what you might expect. Uh, this is one of the MicroMeasurements uh, 250 US patterns, and if you look closely at this gauge, you'll see that it's got four sensitive grids on it, and these four sensitive grids are turned at a 45 degree angle to the side or the top of the strain gauge and the intent for this gauge is to uh, take it and glue it on to a shaft and measure for example a torsional load. Uh, you'll notice that it's got five uh, soldering connections uh, down here at the bottom uh, and we'll use those five tabs to connect it as a full Wheatstone bridge. Uh, the difference here though is that we've taken this gauge that while it's intended for measuring shear strain or torque on a shaft we've take it, taken the gauge and clocked it at a 45 degree angle. And the reason that we did that is this strain gauge can also be used to measure bending in this shaft if you take it and turn it so that you get these gauges aligned with the longitudinal and the transverse direction of this uh, slender beam. So if you take a look at it again, it's the exact same strain gauge that's used for torsion except now we've taken it, clocked it at a 45 degree angle and now we're using it to measure bending that's in this aluminum bar. If you'd like to find out more information about strain gauges or strain gauge applications in general, take a look at our website at www.micro-measurements.com. Thank you.